There you are. It's Nerd Mafia, obviously. My name is Mickey Shabazz. Ricky B. Bitch! Shout out to the sauces. The sauces.com. That's T-H-E. Gotta have it. S-O-S. E-G. E-G. Dot com. The sauces. Go there. And that's where you can see this interview along with many other shit. Yes. So, rep that. Nerd Mafia is this. Nerd Mafia is a realm of peace, but it's a realm of different peace. Like kind of like chaotic peace. If that makes any sense. And, and it's, a, it's a realm of freedom, as you can see. A realm of style, swag. And it's a realm of I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Say Nerd Mafia! Nerd Mafia! is individualism. Nerd Mafia is someone being able to be themselves still with a group of people. You shouldn't have to change to be with other people. We just know how to connect in harmony. We are separate styles. Such different places is beautiful. So that's what Nerd Mafia is. Uh, my involvement in that, it, it definitely gave us like a springboard on everything we was doing because it's like we were, we were on our grind and everything but like before bazaar but it's like bazaar kind of like with the whole mad thing he kind of like helped that out a lot and he helped that out in a way that we can grow off of because like where we were at it, we were still growing but we were growing at a slow pace but right now we can really grow together and still make like significant progress not just on growing itself but also making progress from external sources, if you understand what I mean. Social 187 is it's it's a it's a musical project to where I really brought out like a a style that is contrary to the the the, the, the style on social suicide. Social 187 is a style that. It was hard to do. It was it was scary as fuck to do because it's something that I wasn't used to putting out. So Social 87 is definitely something just basically different in all aspects from everything I've done and a lot of shit I'll do in the future. But the name Social 187 is, you know, because 187 obviously means homicide. So therefore, the meaning is social homicide. Now, what I mean by social homicide is... Deleting out all external factors socially, not in general, but social factors, which is, you know, the simple things like who's more popular, who has more money, who has a car and who doesn't, you know what I'm saying? Who has the better car? Who has the, the more raggedy car? Hello. How are you? <laughs> who has who has the better car? But deleting out all of that so that you can you can learn to be yourself without society. So that's what social 187 means. Next question. I envision, well, as far as me or as far as other artists, music in general, I envision that there will be less, less of a division between genres of music. Right. Because we all have, let's say, for example, we have rock, pop, and hip hop. As time goes on, I notice that it's like the more time goes on, they start to come together a little bit close. Like you have people doing rock slash hip hop songs, such as Master MIC himself, and then you have people doing pop slash hip hop songs. So songs are starting to come together. That's what I envision for the future of music, and that's the way it should be. Uh, as far as the future of music goes, I believe that. Thank you. Um, as far as the future of music goes, I see a definite. A coming together of different styles because of an appreciation for differences and I think that it's important for you know someone to carry music in the direction that it needs to okay I believe that a hoax is created by negativity and I believe that the world in all must be positive because we favor good outcome 
So it can't be a hoax. Something has to be real within what we're all sensing. Everybody, you know, has been feeling different. Things have definitely changed this year. A lot of stuff has happened on a more global scale. Therefore, I feel that 2012 is more of a marker for what is to come and how we are going to change spiritually. So yes, it really is, I believe, the end of the world because the world is predicated on what we know. And if what we know changes, the world changes. Thank you so much. Perfect Society is peace, happiness, love, and nerd mafia. That's perfect. Out of everything, that's perfect. <laughs> Sitting at the crib, bored as fuck, I ain't got shit to do School of hard knocks, boy, and I'm the fucking principal I'm critical, my visual was gitsy, bitches, sensual Anti-lo-quality, my swag is fucking digital